It's another day, it's another email from Atlassian telling us some bad news. And in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at an email that went out this week. And if you're an Ops Genie user, you're definitely gonna to wanna to pay attention to this video. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you drop a like, and more importantly, check out that link tree down below. I have the ability to do some one-on-one -on -one help with you. So if you have any questions or need any help with respect to the context of what's going on with Ops Genie, use those links. I have 15 minutes, 30 minutes, hours, whatever you need. I'm here to help you out, so check out that link down in the description below. All right, let's talk about an email that came out this week, and it's a little disheartening, especially since I am the author of a book that talks a lot about Ops Genie, but over the last few months, Atlassian has been making some changes with their Ops Genie platform, and unfortunately, the end is almost near. So here's an email that came out from Atlassian. Hello, Ops Genie customer. We acquired Ops Genie in 2018 to provide customers with the best in class alerts, on call scheduling, and more. FYI, in case you didn't know, Ops Genie is the best in class on call scheduling and so much more. It's a really cool thing that does like alerting. It lets you basically, when there's an IT problem, this is a JSM kind of thing. And so whenever there's a problem inside of your IT infrastructure, then Ops Genie can alert you, whether it's like cybersecurity incidents or services going down or like a server breaking, things like that. Ops Genie is really, really good to again, get your team alerted, notified, and then triage, right? So that they can then fix that problem. So this is what Ops Genie was. It was an acquisition as I'm learning from 2018, but starting April 5th of 2027. So we still got two years to go. So interestingly enough, Atlassian's given us a very, very long runway. So it's an interesting that Atlassian actually is emailing that far out in advance, right? But basically on April 5th, 2027, support for Ops Genie will come to an end and Ops Genie is going to be shut down. Now, this is not all bad news because a lot of what used to be inside of Ops Genie, right? So all of the stuff that was leveraged or utilized by Ops Genie as a standalone product is being moved into JSM. Now, I don't think that everything is there yet. I've seen a couple of discrepancies here and there, but it looks like Atlassian has a long game here to make the final move. So I would expect that over the next couple of years, everything that wasn't Ops Genie will be moved over. But starting June 4th here, they're gonna stop selling Ops Genie. So I would expect that Atlassian to maybe accelerate all that and make sure that everything is in JSM before then. So this is an interesting one. I, I think Atlassian is making an interesting move with killing off Ops Genie. I get that they took everything in Ops Genie and then moving into JSM. And I think it's better. I think this is the right call. I think it's a better experience for the end user when your stuff is all in the same tool. When everything is, you don't have to go to so many different places, right? Then it was always such a pain in the butt to figure out your Ops Genie URL because it was never the same standard as the rest of your Atlassian tools. And so that was always a pain in the butt, I think. And so I'm, I'm, I actually welcome this change, right? I'm, I'm actually quite happy that Atlassian is doing away with something that I think might've been a little bit more inefficient and bring it into JSM. The only gripe that I have with this whole thing is that, as I mentioned, at least within the last couple of months that I've been looking for, not everything from Ops Genie has successfully made it into JSM. And if it did, it's not that easy to find. So you gotta kind of go looking for some of these features and capabilities that used to be a little bit more clearer in Ops Genie. So again, we're in a little bit of a limbo state with this transition. I'm not always a fan of limbo states because Atlassian tends to do a slow roll here. And these slow rolls just mean that documentation and the end user experience don't always go hand in hand. So let me know down in the comments section, what do you think? Do, were you an avid Ops Genie user? Is this something that you're gonna miss? I, again, wrote a chapter on how to use Ops Genie, so I'm personally going to miss Ops Genie quite a bit. I think uh, it's it, from a, just an endearment perspective. I'm a little sad that Ops Genie is going away, but for the future of ITSM, I think it's a smart move from Atlassian to eliminate just some of the obstacles because, like as I mentioned, setting it up and getting to Ops Genie was not always the most intuitive thing in the world, and so I'm excited to see how a lot of what used to be in Ops Genie is now playing a central role inside the Jira UI, right? So just natively inside of Jira, you start seeing like the teams that you belong to, the on-call schedules and stuff like that. So that's a very welcome change. And so here's to Atlassian making this whole Ops Genie experience better. And my hat tip to Ops Genie, you did as well since 2018. Again, a great product. I liked it. Very, very intuitive if and when you got in there but you will definitely be missed. That's it for this video. Make sure you let me know in the comment section if you're gonna miss Ops Genie or not. 
maybe you weren't a user, so maybe you're not impacted. But if you were definitely using Ops Genie, let me know your thoughts and opinions. I'd love to hear them and see how Ops Genie and the sunsetting of Ops Genie will impact you. That's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe, drop a like, and check out that link down in the description. I'll see you in the next one.